They lie, the ones who tell us, for reasons of their own. The transports hear a stranger, and the railways are unknown. For where the nearest suburb and the city proper meet, the people, they should be at one with places in the street. Drifting past, drifting past, to the beat of weary feet, while I sorrow for the users of those places in the street. And cause I have to sorrow, the town treated so unfair, to see upon those faces stamp the marks of want and care. I look in vain for traces of the fresh and fair and sweet, in sallow sunken faces that are drifting through the street, drifting on, drifting on, to the scrape of restless feet. I can sorrow for the users of those places in the street. In weeks after the government stops the railway running by, the wan and weary faces first begin to trickle by, increasing as the moments hurry on with morning feet, to like the pallid buses go through places in the street, flowing in, flowing in to the beat of hurried feet. Ah, I sorrow for those users of the places in the street. The human river dwindles when tis past the hour of eight. Its waves go flowing faster in the fear of being late. But slowly drag the moments whilst beneath the dust and heat. The government grinds the people with the muck it does excrete. Grinding body, grinding soul with the ones they do mistreat. Oh, I sorrow for the users of the places in the street. And then the only faces, till the sun is sinking down, are those of outside toilers and idlers not from town. Save here and there a face that seems a stranger in the street, tells of the trains now unemployed upon their weary beat. Drifting round, drifting round, to the tread of listless feet. Ah, my heart aches for the users of that sad place in the street. I wonder would the apathy of the wealthy ones endure were all their windows level with the faces of the poor. Ah, government, your knees shall knock, your hearts in terror beat, when we demand a reason for the sorrows of the street. The wrong things and the bad things and the sad things that we meet in dens of vice and horror that are hidden from the street. I left the dreadful corner where the steps are never still, and sought another window overlooking gorge and hill. But when the days came dreary with the driving rain and sleet, they haunted me the shadows of those places in the street, flitting by, flitting by, flitting by with noiseless feet, and with cheeks but little paler than the places in the street. Once I cried, O God Almighty, if thy might doth still endure, now show me in a vision for the wrongs of earth a cure. And lo, with shots all watching, I beheld a city street, and in the warning distance heard the tramp of many feet, coming near, coming near, to a drum's dull distant beat. And soon I saw the army that was marching down the street, then, like a swollen river that has broken bank and wall, the human flood came pouring with the red flags over all, and kindled eyes all blazing bright with revolution's heat, and flashing souls reflecting rigid faces in the street, pouring on, pouring on, to a drum's loud threatening beat, and the war hymns and the cheering of the people in the street.
And so it must be while the good world goes rolling round its course, the warning pen shall write in vain, the warning voice grow hoarse. But not until a city fills red revolution's feet shall its sad people put away the terrors of the street. The dreadful everlasting strife till government retreat and we start using trains again, not places in the street. We must fight on! And we will fight on!